Hi, welcome back to Subtech Online. Uh, it's me again, uh, Sabit Christopher, to take you through advanced filters. So, uh, for the first time, uh, let me take you through how we do filters. You'll go ahead, have your table like this, uh, input filters. Then, in case they tell you that, please filter out two categories. Uh, maybe uh, let's filter out uh, fruits. You'll do that then. Uh, if you're looking for a salesperson, John, then you'll go ahead and filter out John. And this is the result you'll get. So imagine you're presenting this. How many clicks do you do uh, to make sure that you come up with a filter? And how can you make it dynamic? So here we come. We're going to talk about how we use the advanced filter. It is something that has been available in Excel. The only thing is I bring it nearer to you and how you use it. So uh, I revert this by removing my filters. I've already put here a table which we are going to use as our advanced filter. So make sure that the headers are the same uh, field names you already have in the table. So I've included here uh, data validation drop downs, uh, which we have in uh, in one of our videos, uh, the link is up on this video if you're watching from YouTube or you can find it in the description below. So uh, how do we do this? So which means if I wanted uh, fruits, then I will select fruits, go to data. This is what uh, we find. that's where we find the advanced filter. Click on the advanced filter. Uh, it will automatically pick uh, the list range of your table uh, before I had put a criteria range. Now our criteria range, we shall select the criteria table we have. So this is the table we shall be using to select the criterions. So you go ahead and press OK. So the moment I press OK, you'll see it will automatically filter the fruits out. So if I change this to bakery, now the challenge is how do I refresh this? Uh, when you go back to data, the reply button is not visible or it is not enabled. So when I come, I have to come back to advanced and again do OK, that's when it will refresh. But this is another tedious work to do. So how do we adjust this? We are going to create a macro. So in our macro, we just need to create a macro that uh, will do that refresh of going to data, then uh, advanced and... So how do we record a macro? So you go to developer. If you don't have the developer tab, you can always enable it uh, from uh, options on in Excel you go and enable the developer tab so the moment you have the developer tab click on the developer you'll have record macro here so we shall go ahead and record our macro and i'm going to call this macro uh refresh uh yeah yeah refresh it is going to work for this workbook if you need to use this in other workbooks then you can go ahead and call it personal macro workbook can give it a shortcut which is not necessary for now and description we go ahead and okay so the moment you press okay and here you see it is stop recording that's the button i have which means it is recording any click you make you'll be recording a macro so let's go ahead and uh, record our macro so we go to data then uh, at data tab then we look for advanced so when we get the advanced, the other thing it, we shall be doing is clicking OK to make sure that we refresh uh, the new category. So not doing anything, just go ahead directly and stop your macro. So I'll stop the macro. Now, uh, the next thing is uh, if I changed this to diary, it means I have to go to the macro. Uh, if I look for my macro, which is this, then I'll run it. It will change this to diary. But still, I don't want to run the macro from the developer tab. So what we are going to do, I'm going to insert 
uh, a button so I will insert a shape which is in a button like this shape is okay enough so I will insert here my shape then I put uh, this is refresh button you can go ahead uh, center center you bold this uh, then bold that you can increase the font to that you can go ahead even and change that um, the button uh, in dependency on um, the format you like any there are many formats there so I can give it green so here we go this is our button but this button still is not yet assigned so we assign a macro by right clicking then assign macro so obviously I only have one macro there which is the refresh so I'll go ahead and select the macro then you okay and here we go which means when I press this macro I will be refreshing my my filter so let's first put a blank which means when I press refresh it will bring for me the full table if I select here mid refresh it will be bringing mid and if I, I need uh, another salesperson who is Bob uh, refresh it will be bringing me the data for Bob so this one is going to work for you in case you have more than 10 you have a thousands and ten thousands of data you can easily uh, dynamically change this so the moment I remove all this and I say I want a price that is greater than five uh, refresh it will bring everything that has a price greater than five so guys uh, if you find this helpful please give us a thumbs up uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, hit that notification bell such that you can receive videos like this every time we post them but otherwise leave us a comment and we'll meet you in the next video bye bye